Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. The, what are we on? 25th of May, 2021. How's everybody doing? I've had two days off, what did I do? Sunday it rained pretty much all day. Oh, Saturday night was Eurovision, loved it. It was really good this year. There was lots of really good songs. You know, Eurovision style -y. I didn't bother staying awake for the um, scoring. I never do, because I always fall asleep anyway. So I don't really care what the scoring is, to be fair. Ate way too much in the way of chocolate and crisps. So woke up on Sunday morning feeling a bit... And then it just rained all day. So I just did housework and cleaned and defrosted my freezer, which is, I don't know. Does anybody else find it strangely satisfying? The top shelf um, in the freezer was literally, it was this thick with ice because it's where they keep the ice cube trays and I think they're a bit old and they leak and and so the ice was this thick and I left it for a little while and then I got my palette knife thing and I went underneath and it all came out in one big shelf. Oh, it was lovely. Anyway, <laughs> got a bit carried away then, didn't I? Yesterday, I went into, Car into Exeter with Caroline and we had a little bit of mooch around the shops, had some lunch, it was very nice. Yesterday evening, we had a power cut. I think it went off about eight, seven, eight o'clock at night and it was off until I was asleep when it came back on. So yeah, that was a bit of a pain because I was trying to leave bids at the auction. <laughs> Obviously the Wi-Fi went off and I couldn't do it. Most frustrating. Anyway. And then this morning I keep getting pings of like, because I'd left really low bids thinking, oh, I'll go back Monday night and um, raise the bids, you know, show interest now and then go back and work out exactly what I want to leave. And I just keep getting those email notifications saying I've been outbid on everything. <laughs> anyway, pick things I picked up in Exeter. Thought I'd give you a little haul, shopping haul. <laughs> so we went to Primark, surprisingly enough, and I bought some earrings. They were very cute, three pounds. And then I, I very much like wearing hoops and there was all sorts of hoops for a pound, different colors. So I got those. I also got a very nice bag. Um, the way around it's got pockets at the front look so pockets I suppose it's like a beach bag I think I'll use it as a big sort of shopping bag because I'm going to no beaches well I do go to the beach if it gets really nice just feels like that's such a long way off because it's still grey today I did get myself some pyjamas that's the top it's like a cami top can't show you the bottoms because I've still got them on then we went in um, Superdrug, we did go in other places as well, and I bought myself like a detangly comb, because I feel like when I brush my hair, I rip half my hair out, so I got that. I got myself my favourite, a BB cream, that was on offer. I think when it's not on offer, it's about a tenner, and it was about a fiver, something like that, so that was good. And then I needed a primer, and this is the one that I've been using recently that I got from Boots I think or Superdrug when it was an on offer when I went to Superdrug yesterday that was 15 quid and I thought that seems a lot of money 15 quid for that primer and I asked Caroline what she used and she used an elf one it was a slightly different one so I thought oh, I'll try that because obviously that's a lot bigger than that isn't it got home and I was telling my daughter sure well, how much is in that one so that's got 20 mil in it and it was 15 quid and this one has got, uh, I think, 14 mil. I can't see it now. I think she said 14 mil. So that packaging is very deceiving. That was nine pounds. But I'll try it. I've got it now. I'll try it. It's annoying. Uh, is that everything I bought? I do believe it is. I found something else that I bought that I forgot. So I bought the little eyeshadow because I was Caroline. And I told her I've got two eyeshadow palettes and she was horrified. I got a little eyeshadow palette. Um, purpley pinky colours. Might try that out today, see how I get on with that. Put my earrings in. Um, right, time to get dressed and get ready.
so I tried my new eyeshadow palette um I sometimes think that I'm too light-handed I don't put enough on but it looks all right I used um let me put my glasses on so I can see I'll put that on back to front so I used a bit of this one sugar a bit of shout and a bit of fantasy I'm out walking Jenny everything looks so luscious like a jungle because <laughs> it's never stopped raining I thought today we were gonna have brighter weather but it's still very grey can you see the clouds yeah I think from tomorrow it's supposed to be nicer so fingers crossed yeah it's quiet it's past it's nearly quarter to ten so it's past all the school kids and everything so it's lovely and quiet It's about quarter to 12. I'm kind of listening to the auction, although I'm just finding it a bit frustrating, so probably shouldn't. Um, it's been very quiet, but I have ticked off various jobs um, that I needed to do, replying to emails and messages and doing posts on Facebook and etc. Um, I'm finding Instagram quite frustrating at the moment. One, I keep getting notifications that I'm getting a message and then when I look, there's no message. And then that's just freaking me out a little bit. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So I was a little bit concerned yesterday that I might have been, my uh, account might have been hacked. So I changed password and all that sort of thing. But I don't really know what's going on there. And I went to do a post this morning and I couldn't do multiple photos. I could only do one photo. I don't know if that's a new thing or if it was just mine playing up. I didn't know. Um, but yes. I have done some things, ticked lots of things off my list, to-do list. So now I need to find some things to list and get on with that. But first, cup of tea. I just got an email notification to say I've got a sale on my website. It was those plastic soldiers, do you remember? I said, somebody will like them. <laughs> Claire messaged me and said, would I... Um, sell them to her. So I listed them on my website and the sale's gone through. So thank you very much, Claire. Um, Claire sells on eBay. Her shop is called Vintage Candy. So check it out. not a lot happening here today it's raining again surprise surprise um i've been torturing myself by listening to the auction <laughs> don't do it and i've been listening on my website that's the other thing i've been doing but i really haven't got a lot going on and not a lot to say so i'm gonna round up the vlog right here let me know how you all are if you had a good weekend what you're planning to do when that sun eventually comes out. <laughs> Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.